Have you ever wondered how beekeepers avoid getting stung while working with thousands of bees? Beekeeping is a fascinating endeavor, but it's not without its risks. Safety is paramount and it comes down to two main elements, protective gear and safe practices. Protective gear is like a beekeeper's suit of armor. It shields them from potential stings and allows them to work confidently among buzzing hives. Each piece of gear, from the veil that protects the face, to the gloves that guard the hands, to the suit that covers the body, is crucial. Safe practices, on the other hand, are the strategies and techniques that beekeepers adopt to reduce risks. It's about understanding bee behavior, knowing when and how to handle the hive, and taking precautions to avoid agitating the bees. So, safety in beekeeping isn't just about wearing the right gear, it's also about acting wisely. Understanding and using the right safety gear is the first step towards safe beekeeping. Let's dive into the details. So, what are the different types of protective gear that beekeepers use? Well, let's dive right in. The first and most comprehensive piece of equipment is the beekeeper suit. This is a full body suit made of thick, light colored material, often cotton or a cotton polyester blend, designed to keep bees at bay. It's light colored because bees tend to be less aggressive towards lighter hues. The suit has elastic bands at the wrists and ankles to ensure that no curious bees can sneak in. Some suits even come with attached veils for added head and face protection. Next, we have beekeeping gloves. These are typically made of leather or heavy duty rubber and are designed to provide maximum protection to your hands and arms while still allowing for flexibility and movement. They extend up to the elbows to overlap with the suit, creating a seamless barrier against stings. Speaking of the face, let's talk about beekeeping veils. A veil is a net-like shield that covers your face and neck, ensuring that bees can't reach the most vulnerable and sensitive areas of your body. Veils are usually made from a fine mesh material that allows for visibility while keeping bees out. They can be worn with a hat or attached directly to the beekeeper suit. Last but certainly not least, we have the beekeeping boots. These boots are usually made of rubber or another waterproof material, extending above the ankle to provide protection to the lower legs. Like the gloves, they are designed to overlap with the suit, preventing any unwelcome visitors from climbing up your legs. So there you have it. From head to toe, beekeepers are covered in specialized gear designed to protect them from potential stings. It's all about creating a barrier between you and the bees while still allowing you to move freely and carry out your work. The materials used are specifically chosen to deter bees and prevent their stingers from reaching your skin. Now that we know what types of gear are available, it's crucial to understand how to use them properly. Wearing the gear is one thing, but how do we use it effectively? When it comes to beekeeping safety gear, correct usage is just as vital as the gear itself. So, let's discuss the nuances of wearing and using your safety gear effectively. One key aspect is securing all openings in your beekeeping suit. Why? Well, bees are curious creatures and will explore any opening they can find. So, make sure your wrists and ankles are securely covered and the suit is zipped up all the way to your chin. Now, onto gloves and boots. Always ensure they fit snugly but comfortably. Ill-fitting gloves can hinder your dexterity, while loose boots may trip you up or allow bees to wander in. Remember, it's not just about wearing them, it's about wearing them right. The veil is your face's first line of defense and it needs to be positioned correctly to provide maximum protection. Make sure it's secure and allows you clear, unobstructed vision. After all, you want to see what you're doing without inviting a bee to the face. And one more thing. Check your gear before and after each use for any tears or damage. Bees can find the smallest holes, so regular checks and timely repairs are essential. Proper use of safety gear can significantly reduce the risk of bee stings. But remember, safety isn't just about the gear. Apart from the gear, what else can beekeepers do to ensure their safety? Well, first and foremost, it's important to move slowly and deliberately around the hive to avoid startling the bees. Dark clothing can make bees feel threatened, so opt for lighter colors when tending to your hive. Lastly, using smoke can help calm bees, making them less likely to sting. Following these practices, in addition to using the right safety gear, can make beekeeping a safe and enjoyable experience. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today about beekeeping safety. 
We dove into the importance of safety in beekeeping, emphasizing that a lack of proper precautions can lead to unnecessary risks. We explored the variety of safety gear available, from veils, gloves, and suits to smokers and hive tools. We can't stress enough the significance of using these tools correctly to protect yourself while handling your buzzing friends. We also discussed safe beekeeping practices, underscoring the need for careful hive handling, regular inspections, and maintaining a calm demeanor to prevent agitating the bees. It's crucial to remember that these practices go hand in hand with protective gear to ensure a safe and enjoyable beekeeping experience. Remember, safety should always be your top priority when beekeeping. With the right gear and practices, you can enjoy this rewarding activity without the fear of getting stung.